Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. It's Debbie, and I'm here to make our four cheese ravioli. So I'm pretty excited about that. So we're going to go ahead and take Elsie's oh, food processor apart here. And I'm going to go ahead and just get everything snapped in, ready to go. And we're going to, I'm actually, just a second. I'm just going to pour everything in here. This is the ricotta. And I got some fresh chopped basil. I used 10 leaves of basil. Now you guys know I have a herb garden, but you know what the birds did to my herbs? They ate them all. So I have nothing. So I had to buy it from the store. That was a little sad. So the rest of my cheese is Romano. Parmesan and mozzarella. So we're going to put that in here. Get that put down here. This is going to be pulsed to chop, and of course, this is garlic that's already minced. And I'm going to go ahead and chop it up, and then we're going to put our ravioli out, and we're going to start cutting our ravioli. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. And we'll be right back, guys. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab my sheets of ravioli. And I'm going to go ahead and drape it over something that Elsie bought. She bought a little thing that you actually drape the ravioli uh, over top of. And then you put the um, cheese ravioli into each of the little pocket. You flip it over and then you cut it. All right, guys, we'll be right back and I'll show you how that's done. This is such a filling and easy recipe. It was so easy. It is four cheeses, basil and garlic, just simple. And when I warmed it up the next day for leftovers, oh, it was so good. It was better the second day than the first. Okay, guys, so we are getting down to the wire here and I have the ravioli. So look at this little device Elsie got. So you take it and you put, you put your little ravioli in here and then you fold it on top and then you cut it. I also got a ravioli uh, cutter and it is actually larger. But these are gonna drop right into the, the pot. And uh, we're just gonna put a little bit in here into each one. And then we're going to roll over top of it with the rolling pin and seal the deal. So I'm not doing this with the cannon right now because the reason is, is because if I did, it would actually, you wouldn't see anything because I have so much in front of me. I have... A mixer, I have a hot plate, and I have a food processor in front of me. So the next best thing is just to do it with the GoPro and have at it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this back across the top of this. There we go. All right. Take this and seal it in. All right. What you don't see in this video is that Elsie and I had a little device that goes over top of this ravioli maker and it actually cuts it and seals the individual ravioli into the squares. So in order to improvise, we used the other cutter in order to seal the ends so we would have a good seal. So we could cook these and they were so delicious, guys.
Kelsey. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.